दिव्या प्रकाश न्यूरल हब न्यूरल हब दिव्या प्रकाश एंड डॉक्टर सचिन गर्ग टू ऑल टाइमर्स फ्रॉम द लिनक्स मोमेंट टेल अस व्हाट यू रिमेंबर ऑफ द 90s अर्ली 2000s आई एम नॉट फ्रॉम 90s आई एम फ्रॉम अर्ली 2000 द जर्नी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम रूबी एंड रूबी ऑन रेल्स काइंड ऑफ चेंज माय लाइफ क्वाइट वेमेंटली आई यूज्ड टू बी अ प्रोग्रामर सिटिंग इन वन क्यूबिकल एंड कोडिंग and then all the public speaking interaction with the community everything came into the picture and life took a very different turn off in that what was the time oh um uh, the scope of work changed to a lot extent i did a lot of community exercises build lot of quite a few communities around what is real countries real communities i see uh, i was part of one of the largest uh, ruby groups that was created in the world the, it was based out of uh, the city of pune in india a wow. lot of lot of community yeah, initiatives here in wiki pairing of ruby on rails yes. but excuse my ignorance what make what makes ruby on rails special so that was uh, the overall architecture of ruby on rails was uh, in those days when it was introduced in 2005 written by dhh david hanemar hanesson the rocket the core architecture of ruby on rails was built in a way which was not available with any of the other frameworks at that point of time so that was quite a game changer the way the mvc architecture was implemented the way object relation the mapping was introduced real real developer friendly stuff to work with it and open office you were mentioning something i worked on the i worked as a volunteer on the open office side worked with uh, worked in couple of uh, locations around localization no. lo- not much on the localization but primarily on the adaptation i see of uh, open office to india to india and also a couple of activities in uh, africa as well wow. in certain schools in really? certain non profit organization i still continue doing that i still uh, continue building non profits uh, related to different domains and how within the education space how such open source technologies can be utilized very interesting dr sachin hi tell so your story how did i start started in 95 it was interesting because pc quest brought out a magazine in which it talked about there was a small article but the software was not there you were in cdac so you had access to it probably no no i was not in cdac at the okay. time i was in college i was doing a master computer science at motilal uh, region in college then in allahabad up so i used to get pc quest and one of those pc quest there was this mention of a of yeah. a some yeah. linux uh, some os that has come up written by a guy called linus torvalds and is giving it away for free well i was just there i did looked at it and i can't find no problem i didn't have access to the internet it was so days. ugly in those days it was i didn't i didn't even looked at it because it was the internet we had about a, i think 14.1 kbps line at those days so downloading something as massive as this would have been crazy but it so happened that i went to delhi and i was in delhi i was in connaught place i went to this place called bpb publications and i had money for some reason crazy reason i had 2000 rupees of wow of which was a tons of money in those days yes. and there was this book by cybes or something which was learning linux or understanding linux or something and came with a cd price 1800 i think 1800 yeah for a book for a book. foreign book foreign book. as a side i was lucky enough that my dad was actually the principal of the college so i said okay let me buy, buy for the for library the and i can get it in books anyway it would be so there's no, no hanky panky there in case people are talking so i bought the book i came back i read it cover to cover my brother had been kind enough to give us a give me a pc so i installed linux on it and tried it out i liked it which year 95 So at that time, that must college, have been one of the earliest in India. Yeah, because. that would have been earlier. At that time, called the college was actually looking to set up the internet server, and they were you trying to use a sun machine. But we weren't having a lot of access. And as I said, my father was the principal, so I was in good terms with the faculty also. So I told him that until ye Linux try karna kisi PC ko leke. Yeah. So he said, "Dekh lete kya problem hai." A very nice gentleman, very what you say, experimental. He was not. So I said, let's try it. We just tried it out. We set up DNS. We set up email. We set up everything, and it worked. It worked. It worked. And till date, they are using the same sort of systems. That's what. 
this happened in 95 96 time frame so it would be about 26 years uh, yeah, so even the names of the peak of computers that i put that time are this is big so that's how i got into linux and when i got into linux i still remember there's suman saraf he was in nit surat at that time he, i think he was a final year student or something i see he actually hacked into the college computer over the internet from surat I had put a very silly root password, but he was, and, uh, so, and that is when I got to know, okay, hacking can happen, and, and he was actually telling the kids there, the, because we were used, building a system where the administration would be done by the students, so that guy was saying, I am this guy from, uh, you people have a, so get it fixed. Suman, I think, I'm, uh, Suman Saraf is also there, so he's just, uh, this is how, then I came to Bangalore. I met Jessica Prabhakar through a mutual acquaintance. So her cousin brother was actually in my in Allahabad, he was a faculty there. So Jessica, I met Jessica, I found her she was fellow Linux Unix enthusiast. Then for some connecting, somehow I got connected with the Linux community here. It was very tiny in those days. It was very tiny, but then you had a giant like Atul who actually drove it. And lots of other people. And the magazine PC Quest, which came PC later. PC Quest came. PC Quest was there. PC yeah. Quest, PC Quest used to give their uh, every uh, then PC Quest had those regular two three issues every three months. Every three, issue months. they would have one or the other yeah. issue they would have one of the Linux distros and things like that. But that was a. But I remember the initial Bangalore Linux meetings. They were one of them. Some of them used to happen at Hotel Atria, if I remember correctly. We used to have issues finding venues. Things you used to come from Pune here. You used to come from the way all the way from. No, no, I was not. Ah, you were in Bangalore. I was in Bangalore. Bangalore. And then in 99 we had IT.com at the palace grounds. At the palace grounds, CDAC had a had a thing and Linux had a thing. So that was also another event where we and then Fos.in and all. So CDAC had an event. CDAC had a booth there. A booth, a CDAC booth. CDAC had a booth and then Fos community. Had That's a booth. where I met you. Uh, yeah, I think we and then. You had also printed a, uh, an article in the Economic Times, if you have that, where yeah, you actually yeah. said uh, you were you did a, I think a survey on the Anglo yeah, yeah. Linux email why right. people use it, and then I pointed out that those are and we were trying. I was trying to be one of those people who was trying to push CDAC to do the. Okay. And then there was this guy. This is my friend. This is my friend. Uh, Hello. Uh, Tanmay. Tanmay, like. Pereira from Goa. Sorry. So, there was another event which was a wonderful one where I met a few people, which was the Darren Tula 2000 SEO had launched a big party there. The really? Really? In the palace round now. But there I met this guy who is now who owns Brahmi Computing, Mahesh Jaichandran. He's actually a doctor. But he was doing a Using pure wolf clusters oh, and doing parallel yeah. computing and all of that stuff. I see. So life was interesting in those days. And false dot in multiple editions and all oh, of that. That's a different case. story. 2006 false dot in. I got Wipro to sponsor the event after a lot of. Sorry. I got Wipro to sponsor part of that event. 2006. 2006. What are you doing right? Very interesting. What is the changes you see in the community over the years? I've been plucked out of the community for the last 12 years. At least the 12 years. Uh, yeah, at least 12, 12 years. The last was dot in that I remember that happened or that I attended was in 2009 December. I remember that because that was where I got my another break in the job. I was recruited there on the spot. From, from CDAC to? No, no, CDAC I went to HP, yeah. HP I went to Mindtech, I, I went to Wipro, Wipro I went to Yahoo. Oh, wow. And I had a layoff in 2008, I was laid off Yahoo, I was worked briefly at Thomson Reuters. And then I was out in 2009, Yahoo folks approached me, again, my old colleagues, and I rejoined Yahoo. And then I went for my to do a PhD. So, but I see that that energy is sadly for some reason we have communities we, have, we but we don't have communities. We have communities which are not communities. Which are not communities. As Abhas actually mentioned, is right. I mean, today you are talking about Slack. You are, and as I said, one of the things you see more Mac over Mac laptops at open source events than you see anywhere else. And I don't know. I mean, Linux, Linux desktop, 
I have been using one since when? Since I got a laptop, I was. Okay, they are teething troubles that happen. Yeah, some things will not work. My fingerprint reader doesn't work. Okay, it's okay. We'll support it even if it's worse. We'll support it even even if some aspects of Linux are worse. Yes, but today, some aspects, maybe most videos. Laptops, right? Yeah, most things work. Yeah, we are there on our home page, meetup.com. Yeah, yeah.